Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we are looking at an incredibly early uh, broom handle made for the American commercial market. And this is probably one of the first uh, broom handles that actually uh, came to America. So it's a very early serial number range and it is actually marked right here with Von Lenkirk and Detmold. Now that they were the uh, actual retailer in New York who had a license from Mauser to import these exclusively. So what would happen is the gun would be made in Germany, obviously, and it would be stamped in Germany at the Mauser factory with this stamp here for Von Lenkirk and Detmold and then sent to New York and then Von Lenkirk and Detmold, or better known as VLD, would actually um, either sell it at the retail level in New York, or they would send them out on order to various uh, stores and retailers across uh, the United States. So I, I know that the records are still kept by one of the descendant companies of VLD, and I know some of the guns are still available to sort of track down. And sometimes it can be a very interesting story. Sometimes it's just it went to a gun store in Toledo, Ohio. Uh, nothing against Toledo. I'm sure it's a great city. Uh, but this one actually is kind of interesting. Unfortunately, VLD, uh, there's no records on this gun. It's actually too early. But uh, this came out of a very, very old Los Angeles location and it had been in Los Angeles, California for at least 75 or 80 years, definitely pre-World War II. So just kind of interesting. Um, we know that much about it, put it that way. So this is called a large ring hammer gun. And this one is actually an early, early, early large ring hammer. You still have the trigger, which is a cone hammer type trigger. You have all the cone hammer type features here the cone hammer style grips and your of course your cone hammer style safety which actually did carry over onto your large ring hammer guns and that would be up is safe or fire down is safe this one has actually got sort of a more realistic rear sight this is a 50 to 500 meter rear sight instead of the uh, one to a thousand it is cut for a shoulder stock and the shoulder stock actually is with the gun just we're not featuring it in this video because it's a shoulder stock and we'll we'll look at one of those uh, in a later video we'll, we'll look at some of the differences uh, you've got your serial number on the back of the gun as is typical for Mauser and repeated on the hammer there. And you've got your standard cone hammer type panel milling here. They hadn't yet gone to what you would see on the later large ring hammers. And so just looking at this gun without looking at the hammer, most people would, would peg this as a uh, cone hammer gun because it's the same body, same everything on it. But it is so early for a large ring hammer that they were still using a lot of cone hammer parts as they were using them up. As a matter of fact, you will see cone hammers in this same serial number range. Uh, it's just kind of what Mauser was making, what parts they had. Mauser was kind of notorious at never throwing away parts. So you'll, sometimes you'll see earlier parts on a later gun, parts that shouldn't be there necessarily based on the serial number range. So there's a lot of variance in uh, Mauser guns. So don't get overly confused. Well, I'll try not to get overly confused in general, but uh, don't get overly worried if your gun maybe has a feature that is a little bit unusual on it. Uh, a lot of Mausers did. And your standard uh, front sight, you have your ulm proof mark right there which is the ulm antler you got your standard long extractor your chamber marking right there and this one actually 
does not have the serial number on the barrel flat here like a lot of them do some of them don't cone hammers uh, at this time and early large ring hammers were very sporadic with how they did the serial numbers so this one has no serial number just your crown u proof and completely blank where your serial number normally would be that's expected from these guns so you know it seems like the next gun in sequence might have a serial number on it might not who knows you've got your uh, cursor rear, rear with most of the fire blue actually worn off this gun has definitely seen some use but obviously no abuse it is a very very nice looking gun and it is in the 12,000 serial number range so that's going to date this gun you know probably about 1899 and it's just by that point they were actually making some of the first guns to come over to the United States because as I said this gun was purpose built to be exported to the United States and stamped in Germany with the stamp here uh, later on when they moved to full-scale large ring hammer production that was not in this cone hammer type body they actually would stamp them on the flat either here or flip it over or right here and it would actually just say Von Langkirk and Detmold New York and they're called VLD guns in the collector community they're not super rare I mean they did bring quite a few over to the United States the importation of them stopped by World War One uh, for obvious reasons and a lot of the VLD guns stayed in very nice condition because they were made for the American commercial market and so American shooters took good care of these guns they were expensive uh, certainly they saw use but again they were well cared for they didn't go to war like so many others did and they were just a civilian gun really you've got all your standard everything underneath you've got your uh, takedown and your standard uh, lanyard ring here that all the broom handles came with this one is actually splitting a little bit and then you've got your standard proofs underneath the barrel again nothing to get overly excited about with that but i uh, hope you've enjoyed taking a look at a very early american commercial broom handle with uh, los angeles california provenance which is uh makes it a little more interesting if you enjoy watching uh, videos like this like and subscribe leave a comment tell me what you'd like to see we'll see if we can do it we do all kinds of ordnance helmets firearms you name it we try and do it thank you very much for watching and remember like and subscribe because it really helps us out and gives us the impetus to keep doing these videos thanks